Special thanks to Beta FPV for sending this over to me. I always wanted one of these because every time I get sent a drone to review, it always has Express LRS on it and I had no way to fly it. I always had to borrow my friend's transmitter. It was always one of those missing links. The secret ninjas at Beta FPV were watching my videos and noticed this. I'm gonna put it on my TBS Tango 2 here. This is like completely stock. Some of you guys already done this mod for years and years, but this is my first time. And this might be your first time as well. So what I like about the Express LRS module is a lot of the tiny drones or tiny whoops these days, Express LRS is built right into the flight controller. That way you don't have to solder on another receiver right away. Just, you know, link this up. So that's something I'm excited to try. Let's get right to opening the box. Okay, so here's some instructions, transmission module here, a USB cable, and under here, we have an antenna of some sort with an SMA connection. Wow, look at this uh, shiny graphics. They sent me the 2.4 gigahertz version and some sort of status LED light, I believe. And looks like some sort of cable where you could power it. Let's violate the shrink wrap. Oh, I'm gonna Hulk Hogan this. Oh. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it on right now. Because they say if you power it on without screwing this on, then you can damage this. So I'm just going to keep it on there. The quality feels pretty solid. And another status light here and looks like we have a USB-C connection down here. So the Nano TX V2 module comes in three flavors. So this is the most common one, 2.4 gigahertz. It can output up to one watt, so it's plenty powerful enough. You can use it for pretty much anything, but if you want ultra long range and better penetration, then definitely go for 915 megahertz. But you also have to check the laws of your country because for example, this one you can use in North America, but you can't use it in Europe. That's where this one comes in. So if you're from Europe, definitely pick this one up. And if you're not sure, this one's like a good all around for everybody. And whatever you choose, make sure your receiver antenna matches these frequencies. So I'll put the link in the description below with this page and you can read all about the features of the Nano TX V2 module. But what really stood out to me was they advertise that this module now has a built-in TCXO. So what that is, is a temperature compensated crystal oscillator. And it's really high quality and just basically makes the link more stable, has lower latency for all types of flying, like flying with friends, long range flights, racing, and just gives you the most stable flight experience. It doesn't get affected by extreme temperatures and can continuously output accurate signals for long range flight. So the transmitter I use is the TBS Tangle 2. I've been using this ever since I started FPV. So in order to get this on there, TBS makes this module bay where it actually sticks onto here and it has this special ribbon cable that attaches to the board. Let's put on the ribbon cable. So you open up this flap here and you just stick a ribbon cable as far as it goes and then you close it. And I'm going to put it through this bottom slot here and put the two screws, just screw them in, put it in there. That's tight. Okay. We're good. After, you know, I want to judge where this hole I'm cutting. So, so I'll just, just put a Sharpie mark right here. I'm definitely going to cut the hole above it. I'm going to probably do something like this. Let's take this cover off now. Pretty durable. Can't really break it. So there, we have to remove a screw here, here, and here, and also the same for the other side. And this back cover literally just pops off. Take your 1.5 millimeter driver. Reminder, this is the V3 model. Just make sure you have the latest TBS Tango 2. So once you take that off, you can see it's got a nice honking uh, battery here. So I'm just going to unplug it. Okay. And it just comes off with a 3M Velcro here. And you can see the other ribbon cable connector is right here. All right. So now I heated up my soldering iron. This is the part where you don't want to breathe or you're going to get cancer. I'm just going to make a hole in that area where I drew. So I'm just going to clean that up with a knife carefully trim away from you not towards you because you know you're going to uh, cut yourself so 
I'm just trying to clean it up so it doesn't get in the way of the installation. But I'm just going to use some rubbing alcohol, put a bit of it on the towel here and just clean the back so that 3M VHB tape goes on nice and good. Okay, now I'm going to pass this in. You can see the side, the curves here and just push it and stick this in there as far as it can go. When you put back the battery, you got to make sure it's between these white lines. Very important. Plug the battery okay. back in. Time to bolt everything back together. Okay, so after I put that back together, I'm just going to double check everything, make sure there's no binding. Yep. And then this should click right in. Oh, nice. So on Google, if you search Tango 2 Express LRS, Joshua Bardwell has Express LRS setup tutorial for the Tango 2. He makes it look really easy. I followed it step by step and it totally worked out. The video is about two years old, so I guess this configurator has changed a little bit. Only thing I had trouble with was this part is new. I asked my friend Flying Pudding and he said the top one is for Europe only and the one I clicked is for everyone else. I had to figure out how to set up the receiver on the drone side of things and I found this video from Nord FPV. It's called Three Easy Methods to Bind Express LRS and because I'm using the passphrase I just went to his first section flashing over Wi-Fi. Just go through his video here. It was a little tricky at first but you know just make sure your passphrase uppercase and lowercase actually matters. So after going through all those tutorials and setting all of this up. And now I can fly Express LRS with my Tango 2. So I'm pretty excited. Let's test this out. So if I arm it, yep, it works. Yeah, so I'm all set up now. It's actually not that hard to do. This transmitter also features a cooling fan and also has two buttons that you can press. You can customize it through backpack mode and put certain features just for your convenience. I'm still quite new to this so I'm not going to play with that right now but as for this fan you can see after you know you've set everything up correctly when I get to TX power I set mine to 100 milliwatts because my friend said that's enough for like something like medium range. You see there's a fan threshold so let's say I turn my max power to 250. And right away it communicates with the fan and you can hear it. It's a little bit whiny sounding, but I'm sure it helps prevent the electronics from burning out while you do your high powered transmissions. And you can see here, if you don't want this to be using up all the juice in your transmitter, at the bottom here features a USB-C and this cable comes with the kit. So all you have to do is plug this in and it has an XT30 at the end and you can use any 2S or 3S LiPo to help, you know, share the juice so it doesn't take all the power from your TBS transmitter here. I'm going to be building a sub 250 wing in the next couple months. I'm definitely going to try Express LRS on it. So I put links in the description below if you want to learn more about the Beta FPV Nano V2 transmitter. Awesome guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. See you on the next one guys. Thank you.